Hello, welcome back to the physics simple revision. Now we're going to revise on how resistance is affected by the length of the wire and how resistance is affected by the cross sectional area of the wire. Now, first of all, we have a wire. Right? Now, say the wire is two meter long, okay, and the cross sectional area is three mm square. Now, what's the meaning of cross sectional area? It means the area of this surface here. If you cut the wire, that's called a cross sectional area. Now, suppose if this is 50 ohm. Now, if we have a wire, the same area, but longer. Say if it's a uh, eight meter long. So, what is this resistance? Now, if you apply this relationship, resistance is directly proportional to the length. Right? R is directly proportional to L. So, now the length from 2 meter becomes 8 meter. So, the length comes 4, right? So, therefore, the resistance must multiply by 4. So, the working will be like this. The new resistance will be 8 over 2, which is 4 times, times the old resistance, and that will make up to be 4 times 50, which is 200 ohm. Now, this is logical because if the road becomes longer, there will be more traffic jam. So, the electrons will have more difficulty getting past, so the resistance increases to 200. So, when length times 4, resistance times 4. Now, let's go on to the second part, which is the cross-sectional area. Now, if the wire becomes thicker instead of longer, now, of course, maintaining the same length of 2 meter, if the area now becomes 9 mm squared. Now, because this relationship is an inverse relationship, when the area multiplied by 3, the resistance we have to divide by 3. Now, the working will be as such. If this is 50 ohm, what is the resistance here? R3 will be equal to 3 over 9. Take note, it's not 9 over 3. Because it's inverse, it must be 3 over 9 times 50 ohm. Okay? Which is one third of the resistance. 50 divided by 3. What do you get? Shelly, what do you get? 50 divided by 3. <laughs> 5 divided by 3 is 16. You have good mental calculation abilities. Right? So, in summary, when the area becomes bigger, the resistance becomes smaller. So, now in this case, the area multiplied by 3, the resistance has to divide by 3. Okay? So, today we have covered this revision.